So last week I had a turn one Thunderbird video. And while the run didn't get to 10 wins, what you're seeing behind me on screen right now is the moment that I uncovered a cool synergy. This is the beauty of playing a blind random custom pack. I suddenly come across the real Velociraptor bear. And in that turn one Thunderbird video, I said if someone wants to see this actual build like with a pack made for it, let's do it. And that's what you're seeing today. Real Velociraptor bear, very, very sick. I'm gonna show you three varieties. One of them is sort of the main run, then two extras if you wanna try this build yourself. And by the way, you should try this build for yourself. It is so, so, so fun. Uh, and let's check out my three variations. Full disclosure, this will be a longer video than normal, but please just like sit back, relax. Everything about this video is cool. Here's the pack that I started on for the first attempt. There'll be a slightly different pack later, but there you go if you wanna model it, if you wanna do this yourself. We're gonna jump in. The first run is a cool idea, you know, the real Velociraptor bear, but this run right now is objectively an A plus run in general. And you're gonna see why, like this is one of those runs where it finished and I was like, that's about as good as it gets. Uh, and this build is kind of hard to set up and you're gonna see how it goes. So I have a general rule from Star Pack and Customs that I'm a, I allow myself to, that, what the, just to pretend that didn't happen. I'm allowed to take mouse turn one if I also hit hummingbird. That's my rule. Because you can't really take mouse unless you wanted to sacrifice a life. Um, but with hummingbird, it base, it becomes a 2-3. So I'm allowed to do it. And I take ox. I got news for you, buddy. This ox will be the only non-tier 6 on my team. I take a stoat. I hit a hummingbird. Reverend is cooking. And I'm going to move this ox to the back. And have a look at how strong my team is. Considering I need to... Sometimes I feel like I don't highlight this in my builds enough. It is psychotic the amount of times that I include like almost all tier 6s in my team. I remember one time Metabrusk pointed it out. Like it's crazy that you did this without a uh, competitor or whatever. I do this all the time, man. I often just don't highlight it. It probably like doesn't truly bring to light how difficult <laughs> these builds are sometimes. But I'm going to make it clear right now. This Ox is a tier 3. The rest of them will be tier 6 by the end of it. Um, shut up, Reverend. Stop weirdly bragging. <laughs> okay. And this is great. I don't have my usual approach. And we're going to get to that in a second. I level. I hit my elk. I hit another elk. And now, at this point, I need to pause right now. And, uh... After this battle, I'm going to go to a grounded sap clip that he said in a video recently. I need to, I need to, uh, defend my honor a little bit, you know? Not, this isn't beef between YouTubers. This is the Reverend uh, making something very clear. Let's see what Grounded said recently. So here we end up facing uh, Rev GT. You can always tell it's Rev without looking at the name because there's Elk plus a level three tier one. Okay, so, uh, you know, you know you see Rev when you see uh, a tier one with Elk. Stoats tier two, Grounded. <laughs> you idiot. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, Grounded's right. I cheese the elk. But the reason I cheese the elk... Uh, I'm going to talk my talk real quick. I made that video recently about that dude complaining that I'm off topic too much. And a lot of people were like, don't listen to that guy. They didn't fully... Uh, some people didn't fully realize that I was just trolling that guy. And like, they were very sweet. And they were like, uh, don't listen to that guy, Rev. Uh, you know, you know, like we're here for you as an entertainer. We're not here for the builds. And at first I was like, that's so sweet. And then I thought about it, I was like, not all of my builds are like mind blowing, but I have been on a kind of tear lately. And uh, I feel like I need some more respect. <laughs> why, uh, why did I bring that up? Oh yeah, my builds are so stupid half the time and the custom arena is so sweaty that I need to elk abuse. Like what, look at this build that I end up on in this video and tell me I could have done it without elk. I just can't win! Anyway, this level 3 stoat is now worth 17 gold. I'm somehow on 4 health. Dream run. Ooh! Hello, Jezzes. Uh, long time. I think Jezzes started watching me before I even hit 100 subs, so shout out to you. We're gonna pill. This stoat is worth 29 gold. We're bringing in this cat. That will be one of the tier 6s. That'll be my lone scaler. I think I'm going to buy this. Yeah, I am. Look for a pill. We hit a pill and chocolate and ox. Stop it. 
Stop it, Rev's going crazy. Surely we can't preserve another life right here. Dude, I'm bouncing around my rolly chair right now. That's how excited I am. Roll build, I have a stoat at the front. The Reverend has a 29 gold stoat, a cat and a ox, and I hit the bear. You could have made a case that Alpaca was the play right there. It probably was. I'm probably going to buy this skunk. I'm going to try to preserve life. I'd be stunned if I won this, but God, you couldn't dream of a better setup right here. I told you it was a good run. Tempsky. Oh, uh, you, you know, no, 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 no. Uh, there was a world in which we could have done it. We level, I hit bear. I sell. Reverend, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I just like did this. I was so excited to rip this stoat cell that I lost six gold. Very silly. We hit reindeer. Now that's going to work. And now we go back to fast. So now I have a 1-1 one, one reindeer. I level. I skip the other reindeer. Don't need it. It's Cat City. Oh my god, we're scaling. I'm on three health, man. Where <laughs> level three bear. Level three reindeer. Big boy ox. We have our cat. All we need is a real velo. We get it. I should have frozen that lettuce. I guess I'm trying to level cat first. Chuck and Ambrosia on the back. Strap the hell in, people. Look at... Oh. I'm just going to pause. I'll try not to pause too much. Tier six. Tier six. Tier six. Tier six. Tier three. Two of my tier sixes are level three. It's turn 11. Stop it. Actually, stop it. Have your melon back, my brother. Get rolled. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. Can we get a fat L to the people who skip ahead? You know those people who... Uh, I'm going to uh, offend a few viewers right now. You know those people who the video starts and like, let's say you're watching on your phone like this. You click on a video and then you're like this. Three minute mark. By the way, since my Firefly video, I've seen so many people... Uh, my Fruitfly video, sorry. I've seen so many people use it. Respect to you. Very fun pet. <clears throat> Get rolled. Um, yeah, those people who just like skip ahead. <laughs> it's actually like a, it's actually kind of sickening, right? Like you open YouTube, it's your relaxation time. You find it, sometimes it's hard to find a video you want to watch. Sometimes not, but you find a video you want to watch and then you're like this. <laughs> Speed run through like, <laughs> like a drug addict having withdrawals. Here's the ground. This ground saps video just came out for this. Such a cool build. Shout out grounded. I'm sorry for getting angry, fake angry at you earlier. Yeah, if you're one of those people that like skip ahead obsessively, like just relax, dude. Like, what's what's your run? You're in a rush to get to the next video to open that video and go. Bunch of sick freaks, dude. <laughs> Look at my team, reversing Gorst. Have your melon back. So the reindeer, I, I, I'm sure I said this at the start, this is not the strongest build you can do, but it is kind of cool. Now our ox and our reindeer will get an extra melon. Thanks for coming. I think I'm gonna put a one up on this cat in case I can level the velo. The math is not good at the front, but here comes my bear attack. We're attacking twice for 18 damage. <laughs> it's so good. Now I'm asking a lot to, I've only got, I don't have any gold generating pets. So to, to level the velo and to stat buff with the cat, it's a tall order, but I'm trying to play the middle a bit. I really need this reindeer to be higher. Big Mantis is gonna just get the job done. What under him? Amargosaurus. He gets the job done. I'm actually okay with it because I want more rounds to get my team big. Now my reindeer is large. And now I'm going to look for the velo level. Can the Reverend get it? We versus Onomatopoeia. This team uh, has been doing... I versus this team a lot. And I'm going to rewind. I'm sorry. Nice flea. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm getting melons back anyway. It's like the such a like unintentional fantastic flea counter build. The bear's attacked once. The bear is soon to attack twice. It's kind of close. I actually think this was in Grounded's video uh, of the um, cracked egg. 
Oh, it was close. I think with a melon there, we probably get there. But we don't. We keep marching. And at this point, I don't really care if I get to 10 wins or not. I've made a cool build. It's been a fun run. Are we going to get there? Unfortunately. Have a look at the health on this reindeer. <laughs> Horrendous breakpoints. The run comes to an end. Bear Real Villa is cool. That run was about as cool as it gets. That's number one. I'm quickly going to show you variation two and three. Oh, let's head over there. So the final variation is going to be like the strongest one you can do, but I wanted to leave that for last. This one made me sad. Wildebeest. It's such an underused tier six that I thought, you know what? Let's just have like coconuts being spread back from the real velo. It doesn't work. It gets its coconut. It breaks. It gets it back and then it still triggers its own ability. So there we go. If you were thinking of doing this with Wildebeest, eh. Access denied. Now look, like, let's let the laughing time is over. Let's get into what the strongest version is. All right, you smarty pants. You were all probably waiting for it. Uh, it's gorilla and it's coconut crab. I initially banned myself from this. You notice that the first pack didn't have gorilla in it, and I'm still banning myself from coconut crab. In my mind, it's too easy. Like, you can use um, leech, hedgehog, badger, whatever to get a coconut already on the gorilla and then it gets rich it's it's too strong i did when the new star pack dropped i came into customs and that was the first build i did real velociraptor and gorilla i banned myself and then i thought you know what i may as well do a run that shows off like the strongest version of the real velo bear and that's having coconut retrigs that actually work uh, and you're gonna see that right here now i didn't uh go about getting a leech or whatever and having Gorilla having the coconut to begin. Uh, but instead, I just relied on the first hit not killing my Gorilla. And you're going to see, wildly strong. The bear is charging up. The bear gets a trigger before we even get to our first unit. It's strong, all right? Like, uh, if you just want to do this build and be strong, then this is the... This is the uh, secret source and things and such of that nature. Does our Gorilla die on the first hit? No, we win. Now, E is going for his fire pup achievement. I assume he has a flytrap frozen. So this is an easy win. <laughs> Once again, our bear triggers. <laughs> our bear triggers before our first unit is even dead. We get our level. We get this. And uh, now, if I, if I somehow lose this round, I'm winning the next round. That's for sure. Um, so good. <laughs> It's so strong. Oh, man. Uh, I encourage it very much. It's like... Uh, if you're just looking for a fun build that, that is can be kind of like difficult to set up but really strong at the end, then uh, Real Velociraptor and Bear is the build for you. Goodbye, people.